Hey, what's up everyone? So, after you give the prosthetic to Millicent, you'll meet her up at the mountaintops of the Giants, which is a part of the main storyline. Eventually you'll get there. And I'll show you how to get there from the lift. Also, don't forget to grab the map, which is right over here. And this guy's got some interesting dialogue if you want to talk to him real fast. I thought this guy was a boss. I saw the summon sign and I pulled him out. <laughs> and then I didn't realize there's like a hundred of them here. Best to just to run past all of these guys. Don't forget to grab the smithing stone bell bearing in these runs too. It comes in handy instead of having to search for them. Then just continue on your way northeast. Snag up this spell before making your way across the bridge. Just watch out for the giant archer up here. If you have low hit points, he can take you out with one shot. You can drop down beneath and the wall will give you some cover though. To think we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly... No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. Call upon me again. In battle. Should you have the need. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. I heard the master of the fort was given a medallion that allowed him to visit the Halig tree. Indeed, I believe that is where Melania will be found. The Halig tree is hidden somewhere in these northern lands. The next location that she'll be at after this is the Halig tree, and you get access to that by having two parts of the medallion. The secret medallion, which you use at the Grand Lift of Rold. Now, you do have to solve a puzzle here in order to move on to the next part. I'll post a guide on how to do that one too here soon. Again we meet. I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. In which case, allow me to explain myself. I am of Melania's blood, but in what capacity I know not. I could be sister, daughter, or an offshoot. Whatever the case though, I am certain of a kinship between us. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self. That allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. The pride she abandoned. To meet Radan's measure. Once you meet Millicent in the prayer room, head on over to the drainage channel. You have to defeat this boss there in order for her to spawn next to it. 
I'm sure you guys already faced a few of these bosses, except this one, you have to fight them in Scarlet Rot, so if you have the Mushroom Outfit, I'd advise using that, as it's got a really high immunity. This one likes to grab you in his mouth, so you'll just have to dodge that last second. He does a lot of the same other moves. He'll have an AoE attack that's pretty close to him, as well as the tail swipe. It's about a two second attack, and you want to dodge towards that to the right. I was going to bring a spell like Flame Cleanse Me to deal with the Scarlet Rot, but it's not even worth it. It's better just to take him out fast and just heal up. Once you see him starting to do this fire AoE, just back up, because a lot of it's like right next to him. And you'll see little pockets to where you'll be safe in there too, so try to get in those little pockets. When he goes to try to do this lunging attack to grab you in his mouth, you'll see that he backs up for a second and tries to gain some momentum. That's when you'll notice that you want to just dodge last second, as it probably will kill you if he does grab you. So definitely try to avoid that attack. Once you kill the boss, come back to the area that you fought him in and you'll be able to either side with Millicent or her sisters. I think she might be down there by the pond because it seems like I missed some dialogue that should have been there. I sided with Millicent. The sisters weren't too hard to beat. I'm assuming you probably don't want to let Millicent die. Once you defeat the sisters, head on over to the bottom of the pond there, and you'll find Millicent there. Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. But this is where things end. I paused to even tell you. But I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself, I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. Please, let me pass alone. The Scarlet Rot rides now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh. Curse-laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. Once you reload the scene at the site of Grace, come back and you'll unfortunately find Millicent dead, as well as the unalloyed gold needle that you originally gave her. You want to bring that to the spot where you defeated Melania at, and use it on the giant flower. And in return, you'll receive Mikola's needle, as well as a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. <sighs> Millicent, my daughter. Why would you take out the needle? You were so close, so very close, to becoming the fairest of all flowers. Would you disown us, too, as your mother did? We children of the... When you come back to Gowrie's shack, he'll have some extra dialogue. 
At this point, you can't purchase skills from him, but if you kill him, you get the spell bearing, as well as a talisman. And from his spell bearing, you can purchase a spell that you weren't able to purchase from him before, which is the same ranged attack that those shrimp like creatures use, indicating that he might have been one of them. I hope this helps you guys out, and I hope to see you on the next one.